Uh, hello guys, um, today we're going to be taking a look at, where is it, uh, oh yeah, um, <laughs> oh there it is, hey, we're going to take a look at Dead or Alive 4 for the Xbox 360, that's the front, back, and, oh, it, good, it came with the manual, um, so, a little bit about this game, So, uh, this game came out in 2005, so four years after 3, and a year after the Ultimate Edition collection. This game has 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb with about 200 issues or votes. And a Wikipedia reception pane page. Game rankings gave the game 85.49%, Metacritic gave it 85 out of 100, GamePro gave it 5.0 out of 5, Game Revolution gave it a B plus, GameSpot gave it 8.8 .8 out of 10. Um, GameSpy gave it 4 out of 5 stars, Games Radar Plus gave it 7 out of 10. Um, IGN gave the game 9.0 out of 10, and Team Xbox gave it 9.1 out of 10. IGN called the game a move in the right direction for the series and embraced the fighting system as deeper and more sophisticated. GameSpy wrote, it's simple, if you like fighting games, DOA 4 is for you. Between its great selection of powerful fighters, its terrific action, its addictive online mode, there's an awful lot to sink your teeth into. Learn and master in the latest, great, latest and greatest installment in the series. The game was included in, in Evolution Championship Series, Championship Gaming Series, and World Cyber Games in 2008. Game Pro staff ranked as the 11th best fighting game, stating the new, first new generation fighter to be released, Dead or Life Force, still makes a strong case as the best one. This game, this is a fighting game that can stand up in the ring with any major series. In 09, Virgin Media ranked it as the 7th best top 20, the 7th top 20 beat em up of all time. In 2011, Peter Rubin of Conflex ranked as 28th best fighting game of all time. So, not a ton, but but yeah, there's a lot more fighters in this. This is this game did really well, and it was a since we're just in all five. It was probably a launch title for the original for the 360, which is huge because three was a launch launch title. So kind of consistency there. But yeah, let's um. Same layout, same layout as, as that. It, it works, alright. You got survival, sparring, settings, watch, album, ranking, user profile, uh, online, story. Team battle will probably do. Let's take a look at settings. Do that. Have a new thing there. Alright, throws. E kicks, X3, Y punch, so kind of the same. Tag change is LB, RB is appeal, and then R LT is punch kick and free punch. Okay, so a little different because of the button layout, but still, still solid. So in Dead or Alive Ultimate 2, technically the most recent one, you can do, alright, sweet, you have seven. There's actually several unlockable fighters in this. Let's count how many there are. There are on default three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 16. So, get through this pretty decently here. Ah, 
not no random mind game. Interesting, that's weird. I guess you have to unlock those too, I guess. That's so long. Well. I find it interesting there was no opening cutscene like the other installments, that's strange. Actually, one was playing earlier, but I, I, I don't think I skipped it, I think it's dark. Oh wow, this is... I struggle with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, one. Last one, I'll probably do a tag battle thing like I did in the last one. You don't see any of that. It's super fluid.
か、すべて食うのか。そう、イースチューはい。Ah, there we go. Battle at Solo. Let's take a look at that. Ah, interesting. You can do it like that here. We'll do a tag, why not? And I guess, like, here we got people. I guess we'll just do the standard Coliseum. The last two people are pretty, pretty good. And the wonder I lost the last one. Didn't I? Yeah, they, usually, because when I play start, usually it usually goes to like uh, intro scene, but they didn't have it in this one. But oh well. Um, but yeah, guys, this was uh, Dead or Alive Four for the for the original for the Xbox 360. Um, this is really good. Um, it doesn't change a whole lot from the Ultimate Edition of 3, but that's okay. It's a good layout. There's nothing wrong with it. They made some additions. They added some people. A solid addition. Um, the only thing I've noticed is, um, is that in terms of, like, the team battle and all that, like, in the Xbox, it's, like, fluid, like, like, like that. But with the 360, there's a little bit of a load, a load lag. And... It's not awful, it's doable, it's nothing I'm going to shame it for, but it's just something to keep in mind that it, this is this game's obviously taking up some power to run, which I don't mind. I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. Um, and that, this, this brings up something, like, online when this was said to be addictive huge, and that reminds me too that, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but 3, I think, had online. I think it had online, I'm not quite sure, but I know for sure Ultimate 
one and two, they had online, which is huge because those games were older games and they were ported over and with online. And for Ultimate Two, I guess it's cool, but for Ultimate One with the Sega Saturn graphics, that that's crazy to have it like that. That's awesome. Yeah, overall, I really like I really like this game so far. I'm loving this series so far greatly. Um, so next time we will do Dead or Alive Five on the 360, and we will also do Dead or Alive Five Ultimate Edition on the PS3. So we're gonna see how that translation goes, because. Dead or Alive 5 on the PS3 was the first time it was on a console that wasn't Xbox since Dead or Alive 2 on the PS2. But yeah, this is a really, really solid game. I don't think it cost, it cost that much either. Yeah, it only cost like 6 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. I think this is a great game. I definitely recommend it. And, and yeah, you got some unlockables here. I think you have more arenas in this. I think you have to unlock those, I think. It seems kind of weird they only have like three arenas, but the other ones have so many more. It seems kind of strange, but I don't know. It, it, it didn't bother me as much, but that, but yeah, that's just something to keep in mind with this game as well. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, in case you want to chat with me, Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company and you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. The first one is we have a Discord channel. You can find the link to that in about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a discussion tab on our channel as well. You can access that through a PC or laptop computer. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day.